Hi Stampers, it's Elizabeth from StampScrapandMore.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada. And thank you for joining me today on this blistery wintry morning in spring. Woke up this morning to a blanket of snow on the ground. Despite a couple of videos ago I said winter was over, there'd be no more snow. I actually saw people in shorts. Uh, but winter's back. But I know it's short-lived. But it was nice to see that white blanket of snow on the ground and I thought, I'm not going outside. I'm going to go into my craft group. So here I am. I'm bringing to you another video tutorial. And this time, surprise, 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 we're going to be playing with On the Horizon. Are you shocked? <laughs> I love this stamp set, the bundle, the paper, everything. However, the new annual catalog has been released to demonstrators. We got a peek at it. It's not in the new annual catalog, but it's still a current product because it's in the mini catalog. And in my dreamer-like mind, because I'm a dreamer, I hope at some point, somehow, this comes back into, the, into a catalog of some type because I love it. And I know a lot of people who do love it. So let's get started and I'm going to hopefully inspire you. This is the card that we're going to be making. I really think it's super cute. Ignore the sentiment. Uh, I've used Ranunculus Romance for the sentiment on this card, but we're switching it up to use On the Horizon. And it's an angled gatefold card. We're going to take the belly band off. I love this little scene, beach scene that I have happening here. And on the inside, it's just blank. And it's you can fold it right over left or left over right. You're definitely going to need pen and paper for this piece of misty moonlight the misty moonlight is retiring as we know so anything that has misty moonlight in it is going going gone so this is misty moonlight card base it is five and a half by eleven and it is scored at three and three eighths on this side then you're going to flip it over and you're going to score it again on this side at three and three eighths so that will give you the gatefold we need a piece of basic white, standard size, five and a quarter by four. Two pieces of designer series paper that are five and a quarter by three and one eighths. So you've got two pieces. Belly band is one by 11. We need two layering circles. One is a scallop, one's the basic white. You can use any combination you want that fits on the front. This scallop circle, the scallop circle that I used here is two and three quarters. And then I used a circle that sort of fits inside. You could have used, you can use a little bit bigger circle and you'll just get a peekaboo of the scallop edge around the outside if you so desire. In Mossy Meadow, I've die cut out from the On the Horizon bundle, the grass. I have also die cut out the gate. I have a scrap piece of basic white for a sentiment that I'm going to pop up. We have, I've got to get, get them, my fingers on them, some pebbles, love the pebbles, and some linen thread. So let me give you some measurements. i put this all back. Okay. So on the piece of Misty Moonlight, we've got a top, we'll have a top and a bottom. On the top, I just gotta make sure we're at, cause I, on one of them, there we go. I made some notes on here, so I know for me one's the top. On the top, you are going to measure down on both sides, about one and a half inches. So you're gonna make a little registration mark one and a half inches and another registration mark one and a half inches. Along the bottom, you're going to make a reg registration mark one inch in and one inch in. You're going to do that on both sides. Then you're going to bring out your cutter, your trimmer. And I'm going to put this score line in the guide, the cutting guide, so that I know that's in the center. And I'm going to pivot this around. And I'm going to put the registration mark, a cutting, cutting groove. And I am going to 
and you're going to cut down and you're going to do that on the other side so again on this side i've got the score the mark in the in the cutter groove and i've got the score line in the cutter groove and i'm going to cut now you have that angle but we have to do the same thing for the bottom so i'm going to take this edge Put it in the groove and rotate it around and this is the score line or be sorry the mark I have registration mark and you've got your angle and you're going to do on the other side uh, this is the registration mark the pencil mark right there I'm going to take the tip of this edge and I'm going to cut like that and now you have your angled gatefold as I was uploading the video, I realized that part of the video, the ending of it, stopped. So it stopped recording. I had to recreate the end of the video from this point on. I have had to change up the, the cardstock to Knight of Navy because the original card was Misty Moonlight. I have no more Misty Moonlight cardstock left. I've had to pivot. So when I cut out this New Horizon, I the pattern is a little bit different and the night of navy is also a change let me continue on with the video and recording is is on i've confirmed and i'm going to continue on from this point this is the designer series paper and we have to mark this and cut it like we did with the cardstock we're going to mark it on the left hand side and we're going to go down again one and a half inches and i'm just going to put a little registration mark and along the bottom, we're going to go at one inch and put a little registration mark. So I've got one and a half and one. I'm going to do that on the other side. I'm going to go down one and a half. And then across the bottom, I am going to go on one. And now I'm going to bring out my paper trimmer. I'd actually cleaned up and put everything away when I, and then when I went to upload the video. It was like, oh no technology sometimes. I'm putting the point of the designer series paper and I'm going to pivot until I've got my registration mark and I am going to cut that. And I'm going to put this point, pivot to my registration mark here. So I've got the point registration mark and I'm going to trim that. So that is the right right hand side. One thing I do want to mention that I mentioned in the I thought I mentioned in the first video, but it stopped recording, was that when you, you whatever designer series paper you use, when you cut it, make sure that you it's on the right orientation. So if I this one I've cut it already. So if I had this one upside down, uh, might look okay, but I think it would look better if it was on the same orientation as this one so that the pattern is going in the same direction all right so now i'm going to take i'm going to put my registration mark in that groove the point is going to be here uh, pivot oops pivot pivot and don't move it and i'm going to trim that down and then i'm going to do the same here i'm going to put this point in there and pivot to the registration mark like that and there we go now we have both cut and they're on that there they will look like that and we'll go like that and this one will go like that and let me adhere those together while I have them Sometimes, you know, technology is great, and sometimes not so much. And it was funny because as I was filming, I looked up and I saw that my screen had gone to sleep. And I thought, oh, why did that happen? And then I pressed it and it came back and, and I thought, oh, I'll just cut that out. Not realizing that it had stopped filming. And now I'm going to put this one on here like, like that. This one I didn't cut as well as I did the other. But I'm running out of uh, on horizon 
our new Horizon Design Series paper. So I can't, I don't have any more to cut. <laughs> I overshot with the adhesive, so I'm just rolling it back. Like that. All right, so there is the card. And I am going to put this in on my grid paper, and I know that this is the center. All right, so I'm gonna bring out my Knight of Navy. And a post-it note. And I'm going to cover up the of you. Like that. Put this back in the center. Ink up the thinking. Take that off. And I'm going to put the thinking sort of in the middle. Like that. So thinking. And then while I've got it out... I'm going to put that post-it note in the garbage. I'm going to type, I'm type stamp the of you like that. I'm going to cut that out freehand. Okay. I'm going to put that aside, that aside. I'm going to bring out my scallop circle and the mossy meadow. And I'm going to bring out a piece of scrap here. I don't want to dirty up my nice clean grid sheet. And um, I'm going to the grass. And it this doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be sort of buried underneath the die cut piece of, of grass. Like that. I put the mossy meadow away. I'm going to bring up the knight of navy again and the birds. And I'm going to stamp that like that. Now I can put all the ink away. Okay. Alrighty, let's assemble this. Yes, after I after I went to upload it and I realized that the video was shorter than it should have been. I had to re I had to put everything back out and recut everything and then it was like oh elizabeth i didn't have any more misty moonlight but that's a good thing because misty moonlight's gone it's retiring so i won't have any any left over i will have scraps i do have scraps left over there's, there's the thinking peeking out like that i'm going to adhere this like that Goal of every Stampin' Up! demonstrator is not to, is to end not to end up with a lot of designer series paper left or retiring cardstock. I fail on the designer series paper, by the way, because I I do have lots of it left. All right, I'm going to put this grass down now, like that, and it's going to. Uh, hang over on the left and right and that is okay because we just add adds a little bit extra dimension texture You know, I keep saying it's all about the details, right? And the gate I'm going to put dimensionals down vertical down the set down both sides and down the center Oops uh, I'm running out of strips that I can cut. Okay, put that in the middle. And the left side, and I'm going to cut that down a little bit more. And the right side. And this is going to go like that. It kind of welcomes you into the path. There's two different gates, one on the left and one on the right. You can see that dimensional underneath. I'm just gonna move it over. Like 
that. And now I'm going to put three pebbles. Thankfully, I still had a few pebbles left. Uh, this this is the end of the pebbles because <laughs> they were well loved as well okay and now I'm going to assemble this and I did cut out a new belly band so for the belly band I'm going to finger press it I'm not going to score it I'm just going to finger press it around like that make sure it's straight and then bring this one over and bring it around like that. Okay. And I'm going to use Tombow glue to adhere them down. This one's just a little bit long, so I'm going to trim that down a bit. The key to the belly band is that when you adhere this on the top, you don't want to see that seam. Some Tombow glue. And make sure it's nice and, and straight. Not too tight that it's not going to come off, but you don't want it so loose that it's going to fall either. We are going to adhere this to the front like that, and we are going to put, um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to adhere this to the front, but I don't want to put dimensionals on this side or that side because you don't want it to stick to the card front. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this and that way I know dimensionals go in the middle and because this does have a bit of a moving mechanism to it I'm I want to make sure that I've got a few a few dimensionals on it not that it really moves but it does it does slide I got one too high up. There we go. Alrighty, and now let's put this back on. Like that. And then the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a bow. And that's a string to wrap wrap around the bow to tie it. Good news folks is the linen thread is carrying over into the new catalog. Yay! That makes me happy. I'm going to do just a one, two, three, three bow. Three, three loop bow. And I, I got it from the bottom. I'm going to take the top, push that into the bottom so that it meets my forefinger and thumb. And then I'm going to take this, wrap it around. Everyone has their own way of doing bows. There we go and make a really nice knot. And then bring the strings down. This one's fluffed in. I just got to pull that back out. There we go. There we go. And you have yourself a nice little bow. And I'm going to put it right here, sort of on the fence, with a blue dot. And then, then I can say the card is finished. Trimming off some of this, the strings. There we go. Oh, no, it's not. Silly Elizabeth, I need the of you. So I'm going to split this apart. like that and try to get it straight thinking of you I'm just gonna sort of tuck it in there above the fence and you know I'm gonna put it on the pickets Thinking of you like that. There we go. Thinking of you. 
This is in Knight of Navy. You can see it works just as well. And there it is in, in Misty Moonlight. Thinking of you, thanks for everything. Misty, Moon, Misty, Misty Moonlight, Knight of Navy. And it says it's still recording, so this time it didn't end abruptly. So thanks for joining me. I hope you like that video. If you do, please hit subscribe and notification bell and leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Take care. Have a good one. Happy stamping. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye.